I'm all about this whole Vanessa Hudgens holiday movie franchise idea of just like, let's make all these holiday movies with Vanessa Hudgens on Netflix. Let's do it. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Kristen and today we're talking about Netflix's new holiday romantic comedy, The Night Before Christmas. The movie is about a medieval knight who's magically transported to modern day where he falls for a high school teacher who has lost all hope in finding her own happily ever after. Consider subscribing if you like my videos and drop down in the comments and let me know your thoughts on The Night Before Christmas. Now this is one of those films in the Netflix holiday movie universe that was really anticipated. I think especially off the success of The Princess Switch last holiday with Vanessa Hudgens, you know that movie is already getting a sequel. Vanessa Hudgens is sort of like making a brand for herself as like the queen of Netflix rom-com holiday movies. And I'm here for it. There's something about these movies that is just so wholesome and magical and you know, fills you with holiday cheer and holiday spirit. If you were to like pull back a little bit and look at it really critically and technically and script wise, you know, it's it's not the most groundbreaking, life-changing, um, cinematic work of art, but I don't think they need to be that. You know, I think nowadays the world is hard enough, there's a lot going on, you just want to sit down and enjoy a nice, cheesy, romantic, magical Christmas movie. And I think The Night Before Christmas definitely delivers on that. You know, we get a little bit of a different twist on the holiday story because there is some time traveling involved. We're meeting this medieval knight and this science teacher that kind of come together. I think that's the appeal of these films is you kind of suspend disbelief and you get to just have fun. And I think this is definitely Netflix's way of kind of rivaling Hallmark a little bit because, you know, everyone knows Hallmark Christmas movies are a staple. They come out with hundreds of holiday movies a year and I think Netflix is trying to build their own little empire around that. In this film we're following Vanessa Hudgens and Josh Whitehouse and I think the two of them had really great chemistry together. I believed Josh Whitehouse as, you know, a little scruffy medieval knight trying to fight for valor and justice and love and go on this quest. Some of the fun was definitely him coming into this new world and not really understanding what certain things are. I always kind of enjoy a little bit of a fish out of water storyline. And throughout it, I think we're also following um, actually a couple of deeper messages, especially around Vanessa Hudgens' character. At the very beginning of the film, she's someone that's a bit jaded because she and her ex broke up and he cheated on her. She's very kind of closed off and it's just like, focus on your goals don't worry about true love because that doesn't exist kind of thing and as the story continues on she sort of realizes that you know you can still be focused on your goals but also open yourself up to true love and you don't have to kind of compromise either way and one of the other things I really liked about this one was that Vanessa Hudgens character isn't a damsel in distress who needs to be rescued in fact she's the one helping the knight to achieve his goals and to help him believe in himself and um, I think that was a little bit of a twist because you know you kind of expect knight in shining armor he's gonna come in and save the day she helps him find his quest he helps her be open to true love and then another thing that's really fun about this film is little Easter egg moments that really connect it to the Netflix holiday movie universe when their characters are watching television it turns out they're binge watching Netflix they're watching the holiday calendar they're watching holiday in the wild these holiday movies that have come out on Netflix this year and last year when they're going through their holiday decorations they pull out one item and they're like, oh yeah, your grandparents got this from Aldovia, which is a reference to the Christmas Prince. It's kind of fun to think that like, you know, all of these movies kind of exist in the same world. What if one day they pulled a giant Marvel Cinematic Universe type of storyline and had a movie where all of the characters from different holiday movies on Netflix came together. That would be crazy. This movie also has an end credit scene, which I was like, what is this, a Marvel movie? And they kind of tease that Cole's brother is connecting with this old crone who's going to send him on a quest as well. I think it definitely opens up a sequel. I would love to see a sequel. Maybe the second night before Christmas. I don't know, just throwing that out there. Where either his brother goes into the future, or maybe Vanessa Hudgens and Josh Whitehouse's characters come back to the past. That would be really cool. I would love to see Vanessa Hudgens in like a medieval scenario. I would say for me there was only really like two parts of the film that I wish they either kind of cut or explained a little bit more. The first is the old crone slash Mrs. Claus. I would have just loved them to dive a little bit more into like who is this person, why is she doing this? And then I have to say the storyline with Vanessa Hudgens' character's student, I didn't really love that story. It just felt like she popped up randomly so that we could just kind of get a, a check on how her character was feeling. I just didn't feel like really connected to the character of the student and I think that maybe if she had these conversations with her sister or something it would have been a bit more impactful. They also had this like minor storyline of this character Allison who is supposedly like a big flirt and I just felt like her character was super unnecessary and just 
didn't bring anything to the story at all. Overall, I had a lot of fun with The Night Before Christmas. It was romantic, it was cheesy, it was Christmassy, you know, it had some really nice messages of family and giving and, you know, true love. And who doesn't want a little bit of that, you know, Christmas spirit in their lives around the holiday season? I had a great time watching Vanessa Hudgens and Josh Whitehouse just be really adorable together. They had great chemistry, very sweet story. And like I said, I would love to see a sequel. I'm all about this whole Vanessa Hudgens holiday movie franchise idea of just like, let's make all these holiday movies with Vanessa Hudgens on Netflix. Let's do it. Is this movie for everyone? Probably not. I think this is the kind of movie that if you are a fan of these types of holiday romantic comedies, you know what you're getting into and you're going to have the best time with it. You're going to love it. Obviously, there are little plot holes. There are little things that might not make sense, but I think that's kind of the fun in this type of genre is that it doesn't have to be perfect. It's kind of like your own little fairy tale. If you like this one, you can check out more of my movie reviews right over here, and I will catch you guys in my next video. See ya!